Ladies and gentlemen, to an all new reaction and review. Tonight, guys, I'm taking a look at a musical from 2012. That movie is Rock of Ages. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the few things I know about Rock of Ages, besides the fact that it's a musical from 2012, and probably being able to name off a handful of the cast members. Number one, it is an adaptation of a, of a Broadway musical. And uh, number two, said Broadway musical had a, had, a song, had a song list comprised entirely of 80s and late 70s rock, which is probably the coolest fucking concept I've ever heard of for any musical ever. So I kind of have high hopes going into this one. Um, I just have to hope that we have a solid, solid story here and that our cast knows how, knows how to sing, because I know for a fact we're not going to be getting the album cuts of these songs. So, right now, I'm hoping and praying that our cast can sing. So, I really have no other, I, I have no idea what the hell else is going on with this movie. I do not know the plot outside of the soundtrack is 80s and late 70s rock literally i know nothing else i remember nothing else from the from the few ads i saw on tv for this thing when it was in theaters last year so i'm really curious if this thing is any good and the only way for me to find out is if i shut the fuck up i push play and i see if this thing is any good and i'm gonna do that right now so without further ado it's time to kick back relax and check out rock of ages Well, guys, I can say this much right now. The movie has just started. So far, I've loved every song which they have chosen. And the singing in this thing is fucking amazing. I am loving this. You know, guys, I never would have thought of taking Jukebox Hero and I Love Rock and Roll and, like, mashing them together. Jesus Christ, this sounds fucking awesome. I really, I really do have to give high, high marks for, jet, for, for, for just the creative use of some of these songs, man. It's just fantastic. You know, guys, there are very few movies that could jump from Journey to Poison and not have it feel kind of jarring. This movie just pulled, just pulled, you know, that off. That's absolutely awesome, dude. Wow, Tom, you know, Cruz can actually sing, unless this is just sort of like a, like, you know, like singer, like, looping in his song, but if this is Tom Cruise, wow, man, the motherfucker can sing, I would never have guessed. You know, guys, the more and more that I watch this, for whatever reason, I really do hope that this actually is Tom, you know, Cruz's actual singing voice and not just a studio singer, like, looping it in. Because, shit, this right here is still really good, and it makes me kind of think that Cruz might, might, might have a future in music since, while well, his acting career is for the most part fizzled, minus this in Tropic Thunder, so. Hey, you know, at least then the guy would have a future. Alright guys, do you remember all, all that praise I was heaping on to Tom Cruise for his singing voice? Russell Brand here does not have the same. In fact, his singing flat out sucks. Uh, it's really kind of bringing everything down. <laughs> Just sort of thought I'd share that. Okay, I'm really happy to see that this that this movie comes right out and says that being a member of a boy band is worse than being a stripper. That is probably the greatest bit of dialogue I've ever heard in any film ever. That's fucking awesome. Does anyone else find it incredibly funny that wannabe fucking tipper, you know, Gore here is singing a Twisted Sister song? I just find that to be incredibly funny, just because I know the history about Tipper Gore and Twisted you know, Sister. That's just amazing, man.
Well, guys, that was Rock of Ages. Jesus, God, that was fucking amazing. All right, let me shut the movie off. No matter how much I'd love to just sit there and just rock out to the uh, closing credits, I have to get this done. <laughs> well, I guess since it is a musical, why don't we start with the soundtrack? Let's start with the music. Guys, as I've stated many times in the past, I absolutely adore 80s rock, and I'm going to tell you right now, this thing has got probably one of the greatest soundtracks I've ever heard on any movie ever. I could probably buy the soundtrack to this thing and just rock out to it all day, every day, in perpetuity, man. That is awesome, awesome shit. Again, though, that's because I'm incredibly biased towards 80s rock, and most of this turned out really good. Except, uh, except when we ask Russell, you know, Brand to sing, the man apparently is never, the man apparently could not, could not carry a note if his life depended on it. But anyway, that though falls more into acting, and, uh, I want to continue on with the writing here, because, first of all, the writers didn't write a single one of these songs, and all of them are covers, so really that isn't a huge challenge to take a whole bunch of awesome songs and slap all of them together and form a musical. Granted, I've seen only one other one other musical which attempted that, and that was uh, Across the Universe, and I thought that that movie absolutely sucked. But I'm not that much of a Beatles fan, so again, a bias kind of sh shoots itself in there. So, let's talk about the writing itself. Let's talk about what was actually written for this. First of all, the story is ridiculously cliche and there's real there really is no there really is no or there's there is no originality in this in the script at all when i say that i mean it's the same it's the same kind of tired tired story we've heard hundreds of times in the past about essentially about essentially a person coming into los angeles wanting to break out into the wanting to break out into the in, into the music scene and you slowly find out that both that both that both the music world and LA are basically are basically shit filled cesspools um and everything all kind of works out at the very end. We've seen that story done so many times, and yet still, Rock of Ages here is able to take it and run with it and do something really good. So yes, guys, you are able to take a tired, tired concept such as this and still make it totally work. So there, so hey, positive marks there. Um, you know, and really, that's about all I can talk about in terms of in terms of writing is just that the story here while while still very very good is not, is really is really not something earth fucking shattering and new uh so yeah at least though at least though the writing here is really good and the and the dialogue is ridiculously sound um there actually are a couple of lines i'm not sure if they were in the original musical or if they were um written for the movie but i can tell you for a fact that there were a couple that there were like a couple of lines of dialogue i kind of wish weren't there because they seemed incredibly stupid but i'm not gonna let that you know drill drill this movie down no 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 because you can easily look past that and see that everything else that everything else around those few questionable lines are still absolutely amazing so we have that going for us now let's talk about the acting I understand that earlier I was questioning whether or not Tom Tom you know Cruz was actually singing in those songs or if it was a studio singer uh, asked asked to come in and sing for him because that does happen occasionally in musicals. It doesn't happen often. I mean, I'm talking with movie musicals. It it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And after hearing Russell fucking Brand go and absolutely butcher every song he was asked to sing. Um, I am now fully convinced that that was in fact Tom, you know, Cruz actually singing, which means that the man, if he seriously wants to leave acting, he could easily break out, break out into a nice rock, you know, career and it would work out great for him because the man has the voice for it. Um, and yes, uh, Russell, you know, Brand, again, I'm, it's probably because I'm a little bit biased against Russell Brand, I I would just love to walk up and just smash him right right in the face with a fucking sledgehammer, but uh, his acting though was was at least passable, but his singing voice was fucking terrible. The fact that Alec Baldwin was able to outsing him is nothing short of sad because. Well, Alec Baldwin singing in this really isn't isn't that good either. But the bottom of the goddamn barrel is 
Russell Brand. <laughs> thank, thank Christ he's only asked to sing about three times over the course of the entire movie, because if he was asked to carry it, it would probably have destroyed the movie. So, uh, beyond that, though, the acting from everybody else is, the, the acting from everybody else is fantastic. Every, a, a, every other cast member is turning in a fantastic showing, and all of them are, and, and all of them are singing perfectly. Of course, that's because we have people like, we, because we have people like Julianne Huff, who, is a country singer, so it so it's pretty easy to ask her to come and sing 1980s pop like like friggin' like pop songs and power ballads because she kind of has the voice for it. It totally works. Um, so yeah, uh, acting here was great, singing was great again, minus uh, Brand and Baldwin to a small to a small extent. Um, camera work here was fantastic. Uh, special effects, there were no special effects, I can't really comment on that. Lighting here, lighting here was great, and that's partially because most of it is supposed to look like a stage show, so that, so that means that even the shots which are outdoors look incredibly like they were lit with stage lights, and it looks really good at it. It, it really does almost feel like you're, like, watching the Broadway show on a much grander scale, and that's awesome. That is exactly what you want to shoot for when you're going and adapting uh, Broadway uh, musicals for film. So yes, mission so yes, mission accomplished on the lighting, the camera work, the sound, the acting. Um, now besides Russell Brand and Alec Baldwin kind of sort of phoning in their singing, uh, were there any other negatives? Um, really no, I can't I can't really think of any other negatives. In fact, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, Rock of Ages here uh, is go Rock of Ages here is going to share a spot on the very small list of musicals I genuinely love. Right along with right along with Rocky Horror, Repo, Tommy and Little Shop of Horrors, this son of a bitch is going to share a spot there, and it is going to share it with absolute pride. So, when all is said and done, am I able to recommend Rock of Ages? You bet your ass I do, as long as, I have to really stress this, if you don't like 80s music, you're not, you are not going to like this, but then again, that's kind of, that there's kind of sort of a given. You basically have to be a huge fan of 1980s rock and pop in order for this thing to even slightly appeal, appeal to you. Um, otherwise, uh, go ahead, like, go ahead, check it out, however, though, you're probably not going to do, you're probably not going to in, you're probably not going to enjoy the music, and considering the fact that it's a musical, and most of it's music, then you might as well just avoid, but, hey, for everybody else, go ahead and check it out, now, mind you, uh, I did not watch the theatrical cut, I was watching the, I was watching the extended cut, which is about ten minutes longer, according to the run times on the back here. I don't know what they added in, uh, because everything seemed to flow almost seamlessly, so, yeah, uh, it was still, it was still an awesome movie. I can highly recommend it to everybody again, unless you're not into 80s rock, or if you flat out despise 80s rock, at which point, you know, um, probably, probably best to avoid, but you probably knew that all already. So, yes, guys, Rock of Ages here came off of the Amazon wish list. The person who sent it in, uh, this actually is this actually is a first timer for uh, for for the shout out, um, and uh, it is a YouTube user by the name of by the name of by the name of Monkey Radar. Yeah, I've got it written down here. You can find his channel. I'm going to assume it's a he, and and if I'm totally wrong, could you please you know correct me? Uh, you can find you you can find his channel at youtube.com slash user slash monkey radar and dude thank you I have been curious about this thing ever since I first saw ads for it on TV and the biggest appeal as I've stated many times already was the soundtrack and this thing did not disappoint and now I'm gonna have to probably go on Amazon and download the soundtrack so yeah I'm Probably going to go do that right now. So yes, guys, with that, we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.